think that's good. Go ahead and snooze these things now. Twice. Of 40 minutes to kill him. Alrighty then. Run and shoot him. Hope for the best. Good talk. Start heading one of the directions. Heading this a direction. Oh, it like has the delay on it. The full delay. Sure. Guess that's fine. What percentage is that? 170, 270. I don't like have any of my stuff on. Flashbangs. It's pleasant as that is. Yeah, the way which this is going now makes me think even more that there's going to be something funky happening. I guess I don't have an iron skin on.
Maybe my beetle wasn't fully prepped. Oh, it's the iron skin. He almost teleported above in time. Read, read, read. At least you got it, smile. Above, teleport. Yeah. Got to bounce. Please don't grab me. Thank you. Yeah. Right, well, the weird health bar has like 20k. I mean, it's all. It looks like one health bar. You just some, some, sometimes is missing 100,000 health. I don't know why, but we're gonna find out soon. Maybe. Oh, don't be me. Oh, it's got 5k still. And I have the iron skin, it's pretty bad. Thirteen hundred. I think that beam died. Well, now it's just him. Is that the beam? I'm no longer getting cross beamed. I'm getting cross beamed by the little eyes now, but. Oh, for sure, you'd be Baldur's Gating. I want to finish this game. Baldur's Gate will still be there. I do want to play, though, for sure. Grab me. It's the most beautiful bar about games like VG3. Yep. That's the beautiful part about single player games in general. There's like a slight problem if you like want to discuss it with other people or if you like interact with people who engage with it and you're trying to avoid it or whatever, right? But you know, they'll wait for you. Unlucky Fred. You started taking guess me yourself, that's the worst. You're like, what was this game? Nah, it's not this game. <laughs> A few hints later, okay, it was definitely that game. <laughs> Don't grab me.
Just die. Oh, I don't like how. Where's my achievement? Where's my anything? Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Achievement complete, champion of Terraria. There's no objective up here. The end of like the main campaign. Piece of moon squid. I want some moon squid. Get my jetpack. I'm gonna go talk to my boy Jack, aka whatever his name is any day anymore. Give me the loot. He's a moon spit. Summons a moonling. The forbidden calamari. Alright, what do we get? Suspicious looking tentacle. Portal gun. Luminite. Aha. Uh -huh. Pebble of the heavens. Who platy. Credits. Rash gravity globe. Quick lunar portal staff. Celebration MK2 Menacing Celestial Starboard. All good things end with a bang or many. Equipable allows flight and slow fall with a hoverboard. Quick Lunar Portal Staff summons a lunar portal to shoot lasers at the enemy. It's a sentry. Uh, that's cool. There's a gun. Calls upon a suspicious looking eye to provide light. What you're thinking? I got some luminite. Allows the holder to reverse gravity. Oh, you can just like do this at will. Okay, let's go. Use this first. I want to try finding aliens too. Did I do this? Oh, it's just, I just have it now. It's like a cool little credits thing. It's awesome. I love them trying to haggle back and forth, the two merchants. <laughs> Be exploring around while this is happening. Oh god, that also inverts. What is this shoot? Rockets, maybe? And shoot bullets. Lauren and the Goblin. Yep. the portal to Eternia.
I wonder if that's something I can access. Fishman still. I think Fishman with this gun won't be that bad. I mean, he'll still be bad, but it'll be better. <laughs> A bunch of Loom Knight as well. I'm still confused where you get more star materials. Pirate knows about the truffle worm. Alien! Yo, 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 get back here. Martian probe? Yo, 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 get out of here. Does that drop something? Do they invade now? Like the Goblin Scout? I bet that's what that is. Wait, who's that? Oh, it's Bones McGee. The Dryad just became a tree. I'm still confused as to whether the Dryad wants you... I assume the Dryad wants you to turn the world back to normal. Like, no corruption, no... anything. I don't have that scientist guy. I don't know who that was, but I don't have him. I recognize the steampunk person, but I don't have the scientist. Santa Claus! Shiny red balloon. I was kind of looking for a red balloon. Really early on. Sky mill? It's a sky mill, dude. It's probably just like a lumber mill, but for sky, right? Let's me do stuff to potions. Or to um, clouds. Lot of people that worked on this game. Or at least worked and supported.
I don't have that pink haired lady. <gasps> Martians are invading. Also, Martians are invading. Wait, so you let them go? Hey, summon Martians. You mean BG3 tomorrow? Probably. Dude, look at all the Martians in the background. Oh, this is cool. Well, they attacked me here. I don't want to go back home. They're on the ground, though. Ground. Yeah, we have defeated the Moon Lord. And there's no more objective up here. I'm sure there's like plenty of other stuff I could do, but that's it. And it's it's my assumption that is the last boss, or at least the main like story boss, I guess you'll call it. But it says Martians are invading, but also are the Martians. A mimic? Why is there a chest here? Oh, it's not a chest. I'm very confused. But we gotta kill Fishman too. But I mean, if I, like, don't kill him tonight, then it's whatever. Not big a deal. Same with, like, some of the NPCs I haven't found, some of the biomes I may have not have found, some of the other stuff I may not have found, it's fine. Terraria thoughts? So I'd have to see how other people play, but I don't like the heavy emphasis on, seemingly to me, early on, of arena combat, of like building an area to fight a boss. I think I would have rather seen bosses have their own arenas. Even though it kind of takes away from the, you know, spooky boss comes out of nowhere shenanigans. As well as the ability, you know, you have a bunch of summon consumables, right? But I think I would have much preferred that. Otherwise, it's very good. The expiration's good. I would like... So people can, like, help and all that stuff at this point. Like, I think we're good. Don't tell me how to, like, fight fish run or whatever, but everything else. Like, all the other, like, goofy quality of life stuff. I would have liked to see the ability to craft from my chests. And I don't know if that is a thing and I was just dumb. Or if it is a thing and you have to find it. But that, that really, I don't like that. And I, I get it. You can, it's proximity. Is it? Oh, okay. It's just, like, very small proximity then. 
Because, like, I kind of tried to check it early game with the setup I had. And, like, they're not that far away. Okay, then I would just like to see the proximity bigger, is all. But, like, when they didn't work, right? Because, like, they... I think it's, like, it's this distance. Like, I have, like, a bench here and, like, my... Maybe it's here. Maybe it's, like, here and here. But, like, it should work from here to here. Maybe it did, maybe it did. I don't know. Otherwise, the adventure is sweet. The exploration is sweet. I thought... So there were, like, weird moments as far as, like, item progression. And it does, it's not necessarily item progression for power, but just, like, item progression in general. Where... Early on... You didn't have much, and you find items, and they're incredible, right? Like, every time you find an item, you, you feel this huge surge of power, as well as finding items is very clear. Like, you find... These, these are going to be wrong, but, like, you find iron, you get iron stuff. You find silver, you get silver stuff, whatever, right? Like, you're, you're very clearly progressing in a direction with a sense of what to do. And, like, somewhere in the mid-game you kind of lose focus on where and how to do that stuff. And then you pick it back up sometime in like, we'll call it hard mode or whatever, like after the wall is down, right? And you get the sense of progression again, but then you get this awkwardness where sometimes you'll want items and the spawn rates of the monsters are atrocious. And then they also have bad drop rates. Yeah, I figured when people kept calling it that. Not not to be rude to you, Fred, I was just... I I also went with that name because other people were saying hard mode. Like, oh, you're in hard mode now. I'm like, okay, is that what that is? We're like... Like, so for instance, I really wanted a sniper scope, right? Because, like, something I wanted to do was shoot things from afar and see what abilities they were using and avoid them, right? Like, I, I'm pretty sure skeletal snipers drop my sniper scope. And I know where skeletal snipers spawn. And I have extra spawn rate stuff, and they just, like, don't spawn. It's like... I don't know. It, it kind of kills the flow in a game like this for me, if I'm going to sit there and farm for literal hours. Whereas, like, the flow of the game felt very good, for the most part, outside of that. Also, the day-night cycle... I... Once again, I, I assume there is a way to control the day-night cycle... And so, like, if there is, it's fine. But if there's not, there really should be. There should be a way to set it to be morning, set it to be night. But, like... I mean, that, I don't know. I think I'll set it fine. You guys got some pretty rare drops a lot more easily than I did. Yeah, I believe that. I, especially, like, because I can look at the bestiary for some things, right? Like, you see some of the drops are, like, not even a percent drop. They're, like, 0.0146%. Like, oh, I have this. That's cool. And that's fine with me. Like, that's why I kind of like... That's why I think I liked the early game more, is because there's, like, a lot of drops that have meaning, whereas when you're, like, late game or, like, once you like have a focus of what you want to do, you only want like this specific trinket or something or this gun to make an item or this whatever, right? And then you're just like, uh, well, <laughs> here we go. As opposed to, you know, you killing swaths and swaths and swaths of monsters and getting something cool and you're like, okay, I'll play with this now, which is kind of what I got to do in the early game, right? Like people would very commonly ask like, what class am I playing? I'm like, I don't know, I just play with whatever weapon I find that's good at the time. <laughs> like, there were some bosses I played melee, some bosses I played ranged, some bosses I played magic. I never really did, like, pure summoner stuff. But I don't know, the summons... Summons are kind of lackluster to me. I'm sure if you are very skilled at avoiding boss attacks, then the summons can be good, but... Otherwise, yeah, I don't know. I think I have truffles. Uh oh, summon some of this dork. Deposit. 
And then I'll die, get some Luminite, we'll craft some gear, we'll come back, we'll fight him again. It's pretty weak in early patches. I remember watching some videos where it got ridiculously strong in the end. Yeah, I mean, I believe it. Like, the summons are strong. They do lots and lots and lots and lots of damage. They're just, like, mechanically kind of scuffed. But that's more because, like, my playstyle, right? Oops. Gotta have that quick. Calamity mod after Pro League or Starfield? It'd probably be Starfield over Calamity. Calamity's not going to be for a very, very long time. Too many games? It is too many games. Supposed to be Wayne? Yeah, this really matters. <laughs> Yeah, I thought some bosses were really cool. I thought some bosses were incredibly frustrating and cheesy and terrible to play against. Overall, it's pretty fun. I kind of went with like problem solving methodology over like mechanical skill the only fight that i like really did there were two fights where i felt like i actually was dodging things or like trying to do things that wasn't just like solve the fight and that was the first skeletron fight that was kind of whatever i just kind of like went in circle like i have this weird little pyramid design over here right or is it this it's like upside down pyramid and i would just do like this and then he would die that was fine. It was like one attempt. It to, to, wasn't an issue at all. And then the wizard, where I was like going back and forth and like actually jumping over his attacks on the card and all that stuff. You leaned into doing OP arenas and using mechanics, yeah. I think it'd be fun to do a run like that, where I'm like, I gotta fight the boss straight up instead of like. How do I get the boss to follow me? <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, you. You. Oops, I'll bring you back up. Oh, my truffles. They look truffly. There they are. What is this is set up. I actually don't know if this is set up currently. Hope it is, though. Am I missing anything before I click this? I mean, iron skin, but whatever. My armor is way better now for this guy than it was when I... First was doing attempts several bosses ago. Not to mention my damage output is much higher. I don't know, like... I don't exactly know what... Yeah, okay, he despawned. I don't exactly know what causes, like, boss despawns. And I don't think it's the same for every boss. Which makes it more frustrating, honestly speaking. Throw the second hardest boss. Yeah, I can believe it. I think if I made the diamond tighter, though, I could probably keep him looping properly. Whoops. Yeah. Oh, 
Did I rate out of 10? I don't know, I, I hate rating things out of 10, but like a 7 maybe. It's really good, I don't think it's like one of the best games I've ever played though. Spawn here or not? It kind of helps that he's swirling in the middle right now. I think if he swirls up top right here, though, oh, he's definitely gonna despawn. Nope, no, 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 you're good. You see me? You're so close. You're so close to me. You're right there. Keep fighting. You can definitely see the passion they put into this game, though. That's incredible. What just happened? What the? Oh, he's got phase three! He's real! Fortunate. Get out of here, big man. The time has come. Beat Duke Fish Raw, Mutant Terror of the Sea. Clap. What do I get from him? I got a relic. Hey, what does this do? Oh yeah, yeah, summon the sentry. I should summon this. Whoa! I definitely should summon this. This thing's insane. It's like the eyeball lasers. 